this video is the first in a series that will explore phase changes in astronomy, whether a substance is a solid, liquid, or gas. There is quite a bit of vocabulary associated with phase changes. Everybody uses the terms freezing and melting, and the terms vaporization and condensation are commonly used. But the terms describing changes directly between the solid and gas state, sublimation and deposition, are rare. In astronomy, materials are often heated to such high temperatures that electrons are stripped away and form a plasma, so we really have four stages of matter. We tend to think of a state of matter as depending only on temperature, but it also depends on pressure. This phase dependence is typically shown on a pressure temperature or PT diagram, where the regions identify pressure and temperature values, which would cause the substance to be in a particular state. Note that the pressure and temperature values for point 1 would make the substance a solid, point 2 a liquid, and point 3 a gas. Note that these diagrams are different for different substances. The melting, vaporization, and sublimation temperatures at a given pressure are different for every substance, and PT diagrams are typically not drawn to scale. We are simply trying to convey the possibilities. The PT diagram shown is representative of most substances, but every particular substance would have its own distinct characteristics. The point T is known as the triple point, where solid, liquid, and gas coexist. C is known as the critical point, because at temperatures and pressures above this, you can't have liquids. We often think only of the phases that exist at one atmospheric pressure on the surface of Earth. The values of temperature on the solid-liquid curve and the liquid-gas curve define the melting and boiling temperatures. Note that the triple point may either be above or below one atmosphere of pressure, meaning we may or may not have liquids for the substance on the surface of Earth. This is the PT diagram for water. In addition to having its own melting and boiling temperatures at one atmosphere of pressure, note that the solid-liquid border is a line with exaggerated negative slope. For most substances, this would have positive slope. Note as well that the triple point should be very close to the x-axis. It isn't drawn accurately simply because an accurate diagram wouldn't be very useful. Let's look at a simple demonstration of a phase transition and represent it on this diagram. The apparatus shown here, a vacuum pump and a bell jar, allows one to expose substances to very low pressures. The chamber is presently exposed to the atmosphere as we place a small amount of water under the bell jar. We now turn on the vacuum pump and can read from the gauge the amount of pressure that has been removed. Your instructor will now stop the video. Before we take a look at the demonstration, please make a prediction regarding what is going to happen and explain your reasoning on a piece of paper. We now turn on the vacuum pump and can read from the gauge the amount of pressure that has been removed. We can see the water boiling vigorously into steam at this low pressure. Note that the boiling temperature of water, 100 degrees Celsius at atmospheric pressure, is much lower at low pressure. Note that we have moved roughly from location number one on the PT diagram to location number two. At this temperature, the pressure is not high enough for water to be a liquid. In reality, it isn't this simple as we are not holding the temperature nor the number of molecules constant. More teaching materials are available on the web at astro.unl.edu.